here, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. This, as you guys can tell from the title, is um, an announcement video. It's an announcement for the Poetry Readathon 2024 because as the, some of you might know, April in the UK um, is National Poetry Month and myself and the lovely Charlie, Charles Heathcote, my co-host, decided that we wanted to do host a readathon because uh, to my knowledge there hasn't been one on booktube before, maybe there has correct me in the comments um yeah we wanted to do something to celebrate um poetry month and this is what we're doing and it's going to be held in the last week of april so you've got loads of time to get your books ready and to like squeeze this in it's going to be a very low-key readathon and it's going to be very easy you can read as much poetry as you like or you can read as little poetry as you like you can read um novel told in verse etc etc all of which i will run through in a minute um, I think a lot of the time people think of poetry as inaccessible to them and that they're just not clever enough to read it but I'm here to tell you that you're wrong and that everyone is um, clever enough, air quotes, to read poetry and to join in so I hope that lots of you, um, if you haven't really thought about reading poetry maybe you will try, use this as an opportunity to try and read some poetry this month and yeah, so I'm going to run through some of the prompts, <laughs> the first of which is very, very well, the, the, the easiest one of which on the board is to read a poetry collection. So if you read one poetry collection or even like a novel told in verse, that will count and that's you for the readathon, signed up, done, tick. <laughs> um, but in terms of the other prompts I've got on the board, we've got a little bingo board, which is prize a winner. And um, this is quite a fun one because there's in, in the UK, especially there's um, a, quite a few different poetry prizes and as there are, I'm sure, around the world, um, which actually, if you know prizes internationally to you, let us um, poetry prizes, let us know in the comments because then everyone can go and find them and stuff. So the, the ones in the UK that, um, that are the main ones in the UK that I know about are the T.S. Elliot Prize, the winner for that this year, I'll put a picture of it on screen, is the Self-Portrait as Othello by Jason Allen Passant. And um, that's one I actually plan to get to um, for this readathon because it's on Everand. So if you've got Everand, you can get that on there. Uh, the other examples of prize winners we've got, obviously we've got Mean Time by Caroline Duffy. So if you, that's, uh, that was one, the Forward Prize for Poetry, I think. Plus we've got, I'm just going to show you the ones that some of the ones for my shelves. Post-colonial love poem by Natalie Diaz is another prize winner. Uh, Night sky with exit wings by Ocean Vuong. Then you have Kanto, which won the um, T.S. Eliot Prize in 2021. Speaking of the T.S. Eliot Prize, I've got Sonnets for Albert, um, which is by Anthony Joseph, which also won the T.S. Eliot Prize, that one in 2022. We've got Don't Call Us Dead. This was one that won forward prize for poetry and citizen an american lyric by uh claudia rankin which i've got a couple of claudia rankin's like books any prize winner will do you can either re read a poem from that from the collection if you can't get hold of the whole collection or you can just or you can read a whole collection that's a prize winner whatever you want whatever you want to do that's completely up to you then the next prompt i've got is read a sonnet this is a very easy prompt because you can literally download sonnets like William Shakespeare sonnets for free and I will like I, I will list in the description as I said examples of um some of like William Shakespeare's ones that you can if you really want to if you just want to go go like go with that I, I'd be quite you know you'll be more than welcome to do so one of um William Shakespeare's most famous sonnets is shall I compare thee to a summer's day I'll put that on screen but you can even just screenshot that if you like if you would like you could also try and read like a modern sonnet and I've got I will link examples of some modern sonnets in the description I'll link there's a website with a page of different um, modern sonnets um, as examples and one of them is Kathy Park Hong and I'll put the picture on screen and I've got one that's actually called Sonnet <laughs> um, so yeah so there are plenty of examples you can have modern or you can go historical as far back as you like whatever ever you like for this go for it just it's just to sort of like try something different I guess and so the next prompt on this list is nature and this is one that you could um could be very very open to interpretation so 
for example, you could literally just have an animal on the cover. We've obviously got this um, elephant and the lovely flamingo. This is um, Jen Campbell's The uh, the Girl Aquarium, which is a brilliant collection, one of my favourites. Yeah, so, or you could have a, go for a poetry pamphlet, which obviously has got like nature on the cover. These are, these are really, really cheap um, poetry collections. And yeah, I've got this one, the 10 poems about bees, or I've got, I've got another one about trees somewhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, or another, one of my favourite na nature poetry collections, I've got um, The Remedies by Catherine Towers. Or you could try and read Seamus Heaney's The Death of a Naturalist, which is another wonderful collection. I've also got, oh, I've got Caroline Duffy's The Bees. You can tell I like bees, can't you? <laughs> um, actually, I like Caroline Duffy, which I've actually got a lot of Caroline Duffy poetry. Caroline Duffy was like a way into poetry for me. I feel like um, when I first was like, not first, but when I, when I got back into reading poetry as an adult, um, I started reading some of, I think I read The World's Wife and that was a really, really, that's a really fun, fun collection by Caroline Duffy. And yeah, but a lot of her collections are just really accessible and but like just really, really enjoyable. So yeah. Um, so those are good some examples. Then you could, another one on a prompt on the board we've got is to watch a poet. So there are loads on YouTube of spoken word artists, so you can um, check out one of them. Um, so Haima Manzor Khan is a brilliant spoken word artist. Um, I just love her poetry. So I will link some examples of that. I've got one of her collections on my shelves that's post-colonial banter. That's a really, really great poetry collection. Um, and also, obviously, the, like I said, the lovely Jenna Campbell. She's got, um, she's performed a lot of her poetry and got um, on her channel. So I will link those in the description so you can, you can always watch that for this. And as Smith is another um, example of um, a great spoken word artist. They are a brilliant spoken word artist. Then we've got in the middle of the um, bingo board is a free space so you can go wild. You can either use this for a collection that you've wanted to reread. You could use it as a self-care space if you need to. Um, you could use it to as a, if you're wanting to write a poem, you could fill that square, like, ticket from like that. Whatever you want. Again, we're quite chill for this readathon. Right, the next space across on the board is try something new. So that could be either listening to a poet, like, uh, like listening to an audio book of a poetry collection. I, I believe that Spotify has a few of those available. So if you've got a Spotify account, you could listen to one like that. You could read a poet that you haven't read, tried, read before, from before. So um, you could read a different style of poetry. Anything you want to do for this prompt that, that is different from a way that you've consumed poetry before, it will get you that space filled and that little prompt ticked. So that's that. The last two prompts on the board that I haven't spoken about, we've got pre-1950s. Um, so you can, like I said, you could either read some Shakespeare if you want to, um, you could read some John Donne, you could read Emily Dickinson. I mean, there are loads and loads of poetry collections that you could head to for this prompt. And um, I will do some research again and list some examples in the description. So for the last prompt, we have modern, anything that's like recent, probably for, uh, like after 1950s, which is basically anything. Um, one of my favourite poetry collections, um, one of my favourite poets, one of the, again, a thing that helped get me into poetry was um, Maya Angelou's poetry. I just, I remember as a teenager, um, we had to study some of her poems for GCSE and I just loved them and it really sparked something into me. And then as an adult, I really re felt like this particular collection um, specifically I found and I just love. And we've also got um, like Limbic is a lovely, is a really good queer collection. Um, it's, it's another fantastic one. One of my favourite poetry collections, like probably one I've reread the most with my daughter, is which also would work for the nature prompt. I can't believe I forgot. Is the Lost Words by Robert McFarlane. This is one that you could read. You could get out from the library and read with your kids as well if you've got kids. Or um, you just it's just so, such a beautiful collection. Um, and um, I'll show you. It's got, all these, ah, ah, it's got all these beautiful um, paintings in by Jackie Morris. Here we see. Here's an example of a poem. So, um, oh, 
So they're like acrost <laughs> they're acrostics poems. So you have the name dandelion, and then down the side here, the word dan uh, dandelion is spelt out for you. And um, yeah, I just love the I just love um, Robert McFarlane's poetry. They're just it's just a lovely combined with obviously the beautiful Jackie Morrison's artwork. Um, yeah. There's, that's an ex another example of one of my favourite collections, uh, along with actually another one that would work for um, pre-1950 would be Christina Rossetti. Uh, this is a beautiful cloth-bound classic edition. And this is the Goblin Market and other poems. This is a fantastic collection. Again, I think this is on Spotify, I believe, um, last time I checked. <laughs> and if, like I said, lastly, if you if you just want to read a novel told in verse, you could, um, and that would still count for the poems. So we've examples of which I've got the poet X, which is a brilliant, brilliant uh, novel told in verse. Or you, we've got the brilliant Black Flamingo, which is by Dean Attar. I love, love, love this. Or you could try this one, which is a middle grade one, po novel told in verse, which is about grief. And it's obviously, it's quite sad, but it's a, a beautiful little collection, quite a recent release. So yeah. So my lovely friend, obviously Charlie, who I'm hosting with, has also got his po his poetry collection out, which is Shepherd's Delight, which I do have a copy of here, but I can't find my actual copy. This is my proof copy, um, Shepherd's Delight. And this is a fantastic poetry collection, which would work for, um, obviously, nature on the cover. Can you see? It's a lovely, beautiful cover. Um, and yeah, it's just a brilliant or it would work for modern. So you get, and I'll put links where you can buy Charlie's poetry collection and also where you can watch Charlie. So that would be under the Watch a Poet performing. Um, like one of my favourites of Charlie's poetry collections is Bury Me in My Wellies, which I just love. Um, so check, yeah, check that all out again in the description. I hope that's so you can join in and, and yeah, I hope it'll be, hopefully it'll be really fun. I do want to join in with us. And like I said, the last week of April, it, it, just use the hashtag, um, tag me and Charlie in this, and our, on our social media, um, Instagram links in the description. And also use the hashtag, poet, hashtag poetry readathon 2024. And then we will find that. So yeah, I hope you guys are well. <laughs> Take care and sending out love. Goodbye.